I had two bags, yeah. Okay. I got two bags of snacks, so. Time for you to go to bed. We're just outside of Bowling Green, Kentucky this early morning. Super calm, peaceful day. A little muggy to start the day, but that's the way it is the summer. As you can see, we're on this uh, really awesome creek and uh, it's just getting daylight. I'm hoping the fishing is gonna be great. I've never been here before. I was actually born in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Kind of call it my hometown. I moved away when I was five, but I've been back hundreds of times, funerals, weddings, church events, Thanksgivings, buying vehicles, just, I've been up and down here a bunch of times and I've never, I don't think I've ever fished here. There's so much to fish up here and I'm, I'm kind of reuniting with some old friends I ain't seen in a long time. We scheduled a kayak trip and uh, it's it's looking really awesome. I'm, I'm really excited, I'm just curious what's in this stream. The water came down, it flooded recently, but it came down where this stream was clear, worked out perfectly. I'm excited to get out here and let's get to it. Boom. Ah. Bubble gum on a swirl. <laughs> Yum dinger gets first blood. A little small, that's what we're going for today. Well, there's my first Kentucky Creek Smalley. And I always like it when you can catch a fish and you still see the uh, bridge where you put in. So, got about a little uh, 11 inch there on the Yum dinger in uh, kind of a little, little channel and current. Give me a rock bass. Number two right there. Chubby little guy. Ah. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh! I didn't get it in the kayak. I feel like you just flipped it in here.
small and a double curl. I just, uh, I think, uh, have you, are you still throwing that little crankbait? Uh, yeah, yeah, I am. Two in a row off a little crankbait. Yeah. I, that's what I was about to switch to. Oh, that's actually a decent one. This is a Rebel Crawl. What, what's that? Uh, I just got one. It's, uh, it's a deep little crawl. It's a little bit heavier. Not bad. That's not a bad one there. Uh -uh. Well, maybe when I go to, I just pulled over to, I'm about to change a couple lures, threw on the Rebel Crawl, and caught two. Yeah, the top water, I haven't, I had some bites earlier. Well, I but it hasn't been consistent, so. Yeah. got knocked down. Oh, no, when that happened. Got my little small mouth. closed he was right at 15 inches so nice one best one today not bad good good a uh, good creek size there better than I can Well, that one was on the um, bubblegum lemon swirl yum dinger. Well, they're probably uh, 13 half 14 incher. It's a little skinnier and longer, but man, a lot of them in here. That's a big one. Oh. <laughs> I casted, I reached down, picked the tick off my leg, and then when I picked it back up, he was on it. I let it sit there three or four seconds. That's awesome. <laughs> That's a good fish right there. Well, there's another one. We're gonna have to fish slow, I think, to get some of these some of these better bites. I let it sit there. I looked over my leg, I had a tick on it. And when I picked it back up, this guy was taking off with it. Oh yeah, best one of the day, and that's a good one. 16 inches. I know this that color like it just I don't know it must just really draw fish to it a lot. Right. Which they you catch them on a lot of other colors, but that one definitely works. In this thing uh, maybe it is this because yeah. i've gotten maybe it's the stretch i don't know but three bites or three of them and two of them are really good ones right out of the edge of the grass right 
yeah I'm just dropping it on the edge letting it sit kind of drag it about a foot let it sit drag it like twitch it a couple more times and then that's it right. then just reel it in reel it in make another cast I think I'm ready for a mid-morning snack all right it's 8 30 um, I don't even know how much further we have I don't know if we're halfway of just getting started or what this is a easy gently flowing stream so it's not pushing you you kind of got to paddle yourself I got into a little bit of a groove back there and caught a couple pretty good ones like that's kind of a fish we were looking for 15s and 16 so I got a 15 incher and a 16 incher really happy with that uh, but I gotta eat some snacks so getting hungry I'll get one too. It's a, it's a dryer jerky. I, I like stuff. I just found this the other day. Nice thing, man. Nice, man. He's digging. Oh, bigging of the day. We really got one. Dude, that's nice. What'd you catch it on? Helgramite. Yeah. <laughs> we'll throw in the uh, city of Nico Helgramite. There you go. Oh, Oh, that's a big one. Yeah. Yeah, this is a this is a big this is a big one. He's at the back of the pool, off the edge of the grass. Oh no no no! I missed him. I missed him. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Back in the shallow area. What a tank. You mind videoing for me? I'm gonna. Man. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh, this is a big one there. Look how long he is. Woo. I thought I lost him for a second. Let's get a quick length. I got a. Board's not exact, but it's close. I forgot my bump board. And that's closed. Oh man, 19. 19. Maybe maybe a 19 and a quarter if I was on a uh, bump board. All right, man. This is a uh, who's he's at least 19, maybe a 19 and a quarter. Uh, with his mouth closed uh, on the Sholey's uh, measuring board, but that's a uh, that's a big creek fish right there. I wouldn't expect anything like this, but this is definitely an awesome day. And uh, if this is the biggest one, it's been a blast. But we still got a lot more to go. We got a storm coming in, and it may be getting these fish going. So let's send this big one back. I feel like they're saying, welcome home to Kentucky. Dude, what a giant for this kind of a shallow uh, southern Kentucky creek. That was, I was not expecting fish like that. I thought maybe that 16 was gonna be the biggest one. And, um, that's, that's a true giant right there. So I was excited. Andrew helped me out with getting some video. So that turned out really good. That's a nice little kind of fish. I just thought I'd give him a little catfish.
What? We got a fish on. It's a good fish too, I think. Oh yeah. Wow, I was taking a video to let my lure sit and I catch a really good smallmouth. Nice, really nice smallmouth. It's actually really good. What a way to catch one. Oh, hang up. Don't you come off. Man, he's getting... Oh, that was a struggle there. Dude, check that out. Beauty, beauty. Probably a 16, probably 17 incher. He, he got the hugger mark kind of deep because I wasn't paying attention. Well, he bled just a little bit. Look like you, already, you see the blood's already clogged up. He had him just a little bit deep. I think he'll be fine. That's an 18 incher though. That's a. Uh, hopefully, I didn't harm that fish. Didn't have him out long. Got the hook out. Got him back in the water. Let's get him out of this fast current. Uh, he's he's fighting a little bit. Oh, come on. Come on, go ahead, kick off there. It's not really kicking back in. Not. Well, I think he would if he was in calm water. He's, there you go, he's biting my hand now. I just wanted to kick off and swim upstream. What did he do, swallow the hook pretty deep? Uh, yeah, just in the, down in like the gullet. I got it out. Yeah. There he goes. He bled for just a minute. Oh. Well, he, he's getting away from me. He's like kicking. Not sure about that one. Man. Wish I'd have held on a little longer. He might kick off as soon as he gets in some calmer water down there. Not the greatest way to release one, but sometimes that's what happens. You try to do your best with him. Well, here's a lesson. Hard facts of fishing. That uh, fish kind of floated over here, and it just doesn't look too good. I don't, I don't think that one's coming back to life. But even one like that, he might kick back and be fine. But a lot of times, the fish you do release, they do die. And that's the thing about fishing. Every every fish you catch, you have the possibility of killing that fish. And that's something we're willing to risk. It's, not, I mean, it is a fish. There's lots of them in here. When they die, that fish drifted down there. He's gonna get eaten by turtles and other small fish, and it's gonna turn into more fish. And that's how fishing works, so. Some people some people will like go crazy if you kill a 18 inch smallmouth out of a creek. That's an old fish been in here. You know what? He's gonna die someday. And um, you know, I don't think I did anything necessarily I wouldn't have normally done, but that fish could have been caught several times. He could be old, and that could have been at the end of his life and he just didn't have a lot left. But yeah, there's, I mean, all fishing doesn't always uh, end with every fish swimming back off. And then if something does die, it's just, it's part of the way it is. And um, I'm not gonna worry too much about it because most of them are living and most of them are fine. So hard of life. So let's just uh, keep on fishing. Hopefully get a few more. Holy cow. No, let go. I got a, a big old gar's got it in his mouth. I don't I don't think he's hooked. I think he's just holding on to it. I right, like a holy cow. <laughs> that was a little girl. 
Couldn't tell if he was big or little. Chunky little dude. There's one. Really good one. Well, here we go. Mag draft came through for us. Oh, he hit the mag draft like he should. Got those front in there. Look at that. I just went back to we got a long slow section here. That's a pretty one there. Oh, he's close to 17 inches. Pretty one there. Right here at the end. John's picked up too, so there we go. Alright, there's one on the mag draft. Nice 17 inch smelly. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dude, they are crushing this thing. Oh man. No, oh, my lure off. This guy broke my mag draft, but they are eating it and getting the hook in their mouth like they're supposed to. So thunderstorms in the background. Middle of the day. Creek Smollies. Well, that's the kind of fish we came for. And we got more than we thought. That's a really nice fish. It broke my lure. It threw, uh, threw it off, I don't know where it went. I thought it was floating. That's two, about 17 inches on the mag draft, this section. They, uh, that fish tore the whole thing off and threw it off in the water. Well, we got another one, six inch, one and a quarter ounce. We got, I think less than a mile to go, but this long, slow section, I got two out of it already. Every once in a while you see one of those, and those are the ones that, like, you see how round they are, like, oh, wow. Yeah, Goodness. That's a good one. Holy cow. Back <laughs> yeah, They are locked in on it. Well, John's got one behind me, so it's probably a 15, 16 inch right there. Let's throw him back. Go take a look at his fish. All right, show him over the camera here. Hold him up there. 19 and a half. Let's see if he, oh, I can't see it. There we go. Oh yeah. All right. Let him go. Yep. Uh, yeah, he waited to the end to get the biggest one, huh? <laughs> Good Couldn't. fish. Good fish. He was just holding back. Oh, it's looking 
awfully stormy over there. It's getting louder, cooling down. We we'll actually get rained on this time. All right, we're going into about the uh, final stretch. It's thundering, but moving, so we might not get hit by that. Sorry. We got three fish over 19 inches today. Yep. Man. That's, I was thinking about, I was trying to go through the numbers. I don't usually fish with four people, but yeah. um, that's pretty, that's pretty good. It's a big, big one. <laughs> Do you want to do some picture? This is a giant. Woo! Yeah. That, that was the hardest fight one I've caught. I don't know why. Man, another 18. This was probably the hardest fighting one. It's thundering and lightning, so we're about to the end. You've been saying we're about to the end for the last like hours. So I don't know how much longer we have, but the fish has been awesome. Not just on the mag drive, on the Helgramite, uh, everybody's catching them. So, what am I getting? Looks like the rain might just come down. Go ahead and put the kayaks away. I mean, put the cameras away. Let's go on. You always got to record. This is the stuff people want to see. It's about as real as it gets, right? It's about as real as it gets. <laughs> got hail coming down. 
We had uh, about a quarter mile to go and it just absolutely gave a thunderstorm. <laughs> Rain's, ow, hit me in the ear. He ain't big enough to get a car yet. I can't tell if that's a cedar over there. I'm just standing here trying to think how to wrap up this video. I'm back at uh, the motel room that I'm staying at. Um, just stayed here. I stayed here for a couple days and I'm going to church tomorrow. Um, and we just got done eating with uh, my friends that I kayaked with. So I'm, I'm dry <laughs> and full and I'm trying to dry out my shoes over there for tomorrow. Uh, I took the wrong shoes with me today. But just, it's one of those, it's just an epic, amazing, I don't like the word epic very much, but it's like, that's, that's what it is. It's just an incredible day. It's got all the storylines, everything you can ask for, the awesome fishing, downpour, hailing, and dragging her kayaks out um, in the mud. Um, just everything, a good eight, nine hour day of, you know, being out there on the water and everybody's catching fish. We caught, between four of us, three people caught a fish over nine, a smallmouth over 19. And then uh, I think there was at least 10 that were over 17. And then I caught, I had like a second half where I caught a bunch on the mag draft tore up one of them and I think about ruined another one. Um, but the three biggest fish were still caught on the Helgramite and uh, by three different people. And uh, so it's kind of kind of a funny little thing there, but amazing day, had a blast. It flooded everything, all the creeks are flooded now. I'm so glad I was able to, you know, work out this trip. You know, I've been, play, we've been playing this for a month probably or more and we got it in, got it. And it was just um, everything you can ask for. Not every video is like that. Not every day is like that. Um, and those are kind you appreciate. This is a creek that's a hard to get to access and uh, not a lot of public access. So I would never have been able to kayak this without, um, for the guys showing me kind of where to get in and, um, you know, taking me through them with them. So dude, that was so fun. Thanks for watching. Ooh, ooh. Oh,